This is my new badass beater Stratocaster. This was originally a Squire, just a cheap guitar that um, I picked up used. And I finished the neck with uh, jumbo stainless steel frets and a bone nut. Here's what I got under the hood. Full shielding. Got a set of DiMarzio pickups. Got the Area 58 in the neck, the Area 61 in the middle, and the Virtual 54 Pro in the bridge. I have three CTS pots. Actually, the volume is an Emerson with two CTS tones, fender switch, full shielding. There's a few things here that you may not be aware of. This little jewel right here is a treble bleed circuit. And uh, it consists of a 0 .001 capacitor with a quarter watt resistor that are twisted together and soldered to the input and output lugs of the volume. And what that does is, is it manages the taper of the volume so that when you have the volume down to a real low setting like two or three, you have the same quality. It doesn't get dark, it stays bright and uh, like it should, lively sounding at any volume. So that's a definite plus. I've got a orange drop sprog uh, capacitor there. I use a .022 on these. And uh, for an output jack, also in all the badass beater guitars, I use a pure tone jack. If you're not familiar with these, these are the best in my opinion. Uh, what you've got with a pure tone jack, well, first of all, what you've got with a standard jack, even a Switchcraft that comes in a USA Gibson or, or a Fender, you've only got two points of contact. You've got a tip and you have a sleeve for ground. With this jack, you've got two prongs for the tip of the jack, two inner prongs for the ground, for the sleeve of the jack, and then, of course, you've got the sleeve. So you've got a total of five points of contact rather than just two. That's a much better jack. It's also, also what I like about it is it's shorter and uh, fits in the cavity a lot easier. So this is ready to go back together, and I'm going to put it together, and we're going to make a video on it. Now I've got this baby all together now, and boy, she is pretty. I mean, that body and that finish, this is a Squire, but I mean, that looks like a nice USA Strat. You know what? Sounds every bit as good, or I would say even better with these DiMarzios. And this was what was in it. You see it had a really ugly pick guard and the pots. That's what it had. These little puny little signal restricting pots. And one of the cheapest switches ever made for a Strat. And these pickups uh, you know they're just just about worthless so but anyway that's what it had and you've already seen what I put in there the CTS pots and fender switch and all that good stuff and it had a back cover for the body that was the same um, the same kind of tortoise shell this so you know, I can I can sell that with the guitar, and if you don't want it on there, it doesn't have to be on there. But I did not have a white uh, cover plate for this laying around the shop anywhere. So uh, I mean, I'd have to order one, or or just you'd have to just buy one for it. They're real cheap, bolted on there. But uh, this thing's got a beautiful finish. I mean, it's a nice three-color sunburst. Really nice, nice grain. 
Look at that neck, man. That is some nice grain, man. Nice piece. Well, let's see what it sounds like. This is the Badass Beater Stratocaster that I put together. It's got jumbo stainless steel frets. I put a little, little more radius on the uh, fingerboard. It's got a nice rosewood slab, bum nut, and uh, I put the Marzio pickups in it in area 58 here, area 61 in the middle, and then in the bridge I've got a virtual 54. CTS pots, Armstrong capacitor, makes a nice... in this guitar what I'm trying to tell you is this is a much deal a much better deal than even a USA Stratocaster would be I mean a USA Fender it's got the same scale of a body it's got a finish every bit as beautiful as a USA Fender and I think it's got even a more playable neck since I have after I removed the original frets I took the edges of the fingerboard down and rounded up this rosewood slab really good I'm telling you this thing is So uh, just uh, email me at gary at folkstoneguitars.com or check out my website, uh, the Badass Beaters website, which you're on now. And also the uh, website is folkstoneguitars.com. <laughs> smooth tone roll-offs, nice smooth volume roll-offs. So you got the same, same quality on two, but you have on ten. It doesn't 
doesn't lose any trouble when you crank down the volume knob. It doesn't become muddied at all. That's because of that treble bleed circuit I put in there. Thanks for watching.